Oh, Nathan, a bright, shiny new Chevy. What the heck is this? This is the 2014 Chevrolet Impala. And we are no longer in Colorado. We are in sunny California. And what is under the hood, my man? A 3.6 liter V6. That puts out 264 pound-feet of torque yes. and 305 horsepower. And we care about that because we're going to go zero to 60. Coming up next. Hi right, folks, zero to 60 time. Funny part is, this car is probably a lot faster than people think it is. I'm almost sure of it. So first I'm gonna try it in regular mode. I'm gonna build it up, see what we got. All right, ready guys? Here we go. There it goes, there's the power. Seven point seven zero. So let's try this again. Come on, reset. Waiting for the solo deal to reset, and there it goes. better now there is a manual mode I've been playing with it you know what the problem with the manual mode is and it's one of my minor issues with the car it's on top of the gear lever so the top of your thumb has to kind of trigger it back and forth or you have to just kind of hit it with your hand it just doesn't feel very natural so I don't mean to complain yes I do I mean to complain that is one of my complaints all right, Nathan, I'm gonna take a guess. Okay, go for it. I'm gonna say you went under, and you correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. Nine seconds. Under nine seconds, absolutely. How about under eight seconds? Yes. Really? Yeah. Under seven? Oh, sure, no. <laughs> All right, what'd you do? 7.45 was my fastest, but you know what? I'm pretty sure it could go a little tiny bit faster. And that's pretty much at sea level because we're outside of San Diego. Yeah, we're just outside of San Diego. Now, of course, people are wondering about this car, which means we have to review it, but not now. Nope, nope, coming up later. That's right, tomorrow you'll come back for the new 2014 Chevy Impala. Full review. Full review. See you next time. Ciao, my friend. Unlike the old Impalas, which by the way, 19, late 50s is when it first came out, um, this actually can be driven through the canyons. Yeah, it can, and it'll do whatever you tell it to do, and there's good power uh, with the V6. There's gonna be two four-cylinder models available soon. But in this particular case, considering the vehicles it competes with, which, you know, Toyota Avalon, the Nissan Maxima, and there's like, what else? The, uh, the Ford Taurus, of uh -huh. course, and don't forget the Hyundai Azera. Oh yeah, the Hyundai Azera.